a day to celebrate and share with you and your friends. You want to come to the feast? Okay.
There needs to be docs to in there. Where do they get the docs? Where they get the docs? They, that's how they all, that's their only test. And they only used to have two, two dots on one spider. Where did they get the dots from? Now, they moved them, 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 they moved Ever since you can remember, there were dogs. You know, that's where they just got stuck. Why you didn't do it on the test? Why you didn't do it on the test? I thought you didn't do it on the test. I thought you didn't do it on the test. I thought you didn't do it on the test. Because and only back here. Yes, you have a good way. Like uh, no, no, just, no, just one flat. No, 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 I want to go to the I want to go to the I want to go to the house. I want to are <laughs> 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 He actually didn't see anybody make a um, clay pot, but he he uh, he's seen one well some and they are still like they never they never used to hang when they I took the one I took. And he, um, he said that they never used to have handles. You know, you know, they, there's here's a wood, a stove, and he would put them on the side. And <coughs> since there was no handles to hang them, they just put them on the side of the stove and cook. Probably take ever and ever. Wow. Hmm. What kind of animal did he hunt? What kind of animal grew on the island? Uh, Jack would you cook the duck up them? The duck kind of the soft duck to eat. Quick, ah. Yeah. Got back to from red bark, white bark, mink, maksak, what you call anistak? Stupid. Yeah. 
nothing won't hit you, nothing won't harm you. As he was sitting there in the house, out by himself, he looked, there's these doors. Some doors have, are, you know, the path out to the, toward outside. When, as you go in, you have to climb up in order to get into the house. As, you, as he was looking at that door, he, he saw something down there coming in, like crawling like, and that person he saw seems like had no arms, no legs. He just, but he, he saw it closer, he looked at it closer, and he was wearing that, um, what, um, comrade <coughs> skin, the bird skin, he was wearing that kind of a parka as he, that thing came crawling in and crawling, you know, he was, that thing kept crawling <coughs> into, um, jamunin na ikinigat. He, that thing that crawled in went into a steam house, uh, where the, uh, a uh, long time ago when they had steam houses, there used to be a place where the fire, they build a fire and a place for it to, you know, the smoke to go out. It went in through there and he was even scared. So as he looked at it, because that thing went out through that hole, he turned the lamp off and went to bed. Didn't he say that? It had, a white uh, it had something white around it. I think it's, uh, I don't know what it's called, rough or something probably. And he went to bed. The next day when he got up, he was having nosebleeds and vomiting. That's all what he said. Come on. Come on. You guys, please listen. <laughs> Mukta <laughs> あ、これ<音楽><音楽><音楽> Tokhi <laughs> ikanlar <laughs> Ich 
the first white man was his uh, his hour uh, when he was small was pregnant. Long 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 time ago, some some people, some men used to go some place to go <coughs> just to buy in Kaya or by boat with the sail, maybe some place up north, I guess. To, and they used to buy flowers and. Not, you know, those good smelling flowers, but some of the flower you eat. <laughs> and, and then one day he heard they, these people start talking, they had a war. I think that was when, I think it was World War II, when, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. I think that's what, that's when it was it, that's the time. Uh, after he heard that they had a really big war, um, these two ships, Japanese, the Japanese ships, they were running away and they got to Cape, Cape Mohican. They had shipwreck there and these two Japanese, they, they got to where he was staying, I don't know where. Um, and. Uh, when he went out, he saw this really clean man. <laughs> really clean man. He was sitting on top of his big dog. <laughs> and his dog. His dog, I guess. And uh, he was sitting on top of that dog, and he said he let that dog walk away with him on top, and he thought. When he think back, nowadays he knows something about horses. <laughs> and when he think back, he, he thought that Japanese guy was trying to use the dog <laughs> for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he said that guy, wa that guy wasn't very big either. Mm -hmm. To him, he, he was a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was an adult. And he, that guy, stayed with them and there was the other guy that is you can kina Danaka. Danaka. Danaka was sit, staying with them and Isuka was staying in some other family too and uh, they stayed there for so long they were beginning to talk, you know, like us. And one day these people start hollering uh, you know how you know how what it is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he ran out and saw a great big boat with two sails in the in on that boat and uh, really black smoke coming out from that ship. And they got to where they were staying. There was boats they were rowing, there was a lot of people in there, two little boats from that ship, they were rowing back. He got so scared, he ran in the house, he hid in some place, well, inside the house, because he was, he got so scared. He hid there, and he was thinking, they're going to kill me, because they were shooting. Those guys, the Gaza people were shooting, and here they were shooting for, shooting ptarmigans, I guess, for food, and here he was really scared in the house, sitting there, child, they're going to kill me, what if I die? And, uh, and the other person, Tyler's dad, did the same thing. <laughs> he ran into the house, he did the same thing. <coughs> he hit, and you know, cause he got so, they got so scared. They didn't know that, they didn't know they were doing that. He was, he, he, he went into the house and he, and colors that did the same thing to their house. They were so scared. And so finally he went out and he saw, he saw this uh, white man. He was, I think trading or something, buying, necklaces and boots, but the boots he was trying to get were too small for him. Mm -hmm. And when he looked down the beach or something like that, there were these two, I think two, well anyway, 
Cause that they were, you know, they were, you know, in case warning, what they were called, they were going, they were going, and he thought, boy, those guys were so slow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he, you know, he thought for a while, they were so slow. And then, um, and that guy, one of the Japanese guys said he got so scared because he knew that, that these guys are after him. He said in Eskimo that, um, well, something like, uh, something like that. I, you know, he can't do nothing. Uh, no, I, I don't know how to explain that. But when you, when you get scared, when you're stuck, you're stuck. You know, when you're trying to solve problem, when you're when you get stuck, when you don't know the problem, you say, I can't do it, I'm stuck. That's how he felt. Helpless. He was helpless. And for sure there was a lot of other Japanese people too around the island in some villages. Those guys were after them and they took those guys away. Those yeah. yeah, they were speaking in Jupik. <laughs> they were starting to learn how to speak Jupik. That's why that ja Japanese guy said Galif Chimak Toko or something like that. Something like that. He said that's the first time he ever saw, that's the first Kasak person he saw that doesn't know how to run fast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the 
I really don't know what he's talking about, but anyway, a um, long time ago he used to hear that people from the Yukon used to be able to go fight. But anyway, the way he hears about Yukon people were bad people. And back then, when they had wars like that around here, I think the women used to cut up all the meat, uh, uh, chop up all the bones, and they used to put them on the tundras, you know. <coughs> and then when those, when those uh, enemies, they go on the tundra, they would be stepping on those broken uh, uh, bones, and there would be lots of, lots of blood running from their feet, I guess. And that, that's what he used to hear about wars from people from Yukon. And another thing, he's, when he was young, was um, he was with some of the other kids, and they saw um, Kayas, uh, they were all in line. They were up, and their um, spears, I guess, or something, were alongside their kayaks. And one was down below them on the water, going back and forth. Sometimes that that kay kayak, that person in kayak, <coughs> would shoot. And when he thinks back, that that uh, shot he hears is a 22, because it wasn't very loud. And <coughs> he and he said something about when they were doing that. You know, back then they used to believe in shamans. The shamans were their doctors. And they used to, this, these uh, shamans, they used them for, uh, like, uh, when, when they're running out of food, they would ask them to uh, bring some seals or something from the ocean. And the men would go out and hunt for seals, and they would catch uh, seals, things like that. When, when they didn't used to have... Uh, Outboard motors, shotguns, and um, that's what they used to use the shamans for. And one time, there, they, he said that there was some enemies back there ready to fight, and the shaman put on a rain cut, raincoat, and these men start singing, and he would, that shaman was start dancing. And he was pretending to make a good, you know, <laughs> to make those enemies, uh, um, make, I think, to make them lazy or disturbed or something, not to fight. Another thing they, you know, when they do that, to make them lazy to fight, I guess. And as they were, after they, that, shaman had a dance, they went out to go check the enemies back there. They were just walking around, some were laying around, do, doing this and that. And they didn't want to fight after that. He was working? How is the Yaga shaman? <laughs> that, that shaman was working. <laughs> he, she, he or she was working hard to get those enemies lazy and he and, this, and her his or her power was strong, I guess. <laughs> That's what he used to say about those enemies that would come here and fight from Yukon. Did they have lots of fights? Wars? No. 
the he's that those people from Yukon usually comes up here. They used to come up here to go fight. Why us? Not not only us. I've heard about I've heard about people from back there to talk about Yukon people coming to their places and fight to not only here. I don't know. I have no idea but then he said the people the people from Yukon were bad. Bad people. They used to they used to church, you know, like the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor, just like that. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. I hate to break this up, but the primary class is, is waiting for Oh, okay. Okay. Tawa, I found Tawa Dukta Chekopin Chalu, not make it walk on the Tawa, what would be Chekopin? Ah. Una, Tawa, Chalu, the Mahana Rick Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Say something. Okay.